All right, so now you've gone through the, you've taken a look at the, the site plan, you've gone through the program, you've gone through the tips, you've gone through the code, you've got all your information, you're ready to go, you want to start sketching right away. So I put this out uh, as two because you have a first floor uh, and you have a second floor. You're going to want uh, either on scratch paper to start doing, uh, let's see, I could do a straight line here and a big room there and then I've got a bunch of rooms there and then maybe I do the same thing and where's the stair? Here's my stair, here's another stair, that means I have a lobby. Like I, I want to sketch out a couple very fast, a couple of different ideas. So maybe I do two or three different versions of that, spend maybe a minute on each one, so really quickly getting a sense of it. I'm either doing that in sketch mode on the actual drawing page or I'm doing it with a, a pencil on uh, the scratch paper. But you want to have a, a, some place where you feel comfortable getting quick ideas out. So you're going you're gonna to mess around with those. Are, what, what's, the, what's your first reaction? A couple quick ideas, and then you're choosing the one that you think is the best. So part of that is you might start doing a bubble diagram. Uh, NCARB is a big fan of the bubble diagrams. They suggest that you do it this way. So you're going to find, you're going to go through your notes, you're going to start placing the rooms, saying, well, okay, this one's on the first floor, that one's on the second floor, this one needs to be near this one, so it's, it's connected in some way, uh, and going through this as a bubble diagram. Me personally, I find bubble diagrams completely insane. I find them ridiculous looking and just confusing. So if you like bubble diagrams, more power to you. Go ahead and use them that way. It seems crazy to me. I would just do squares and rectangles because they look more like rooms uh, and I would draw it more as a building. I think it's faster and, and more intuitive. I find this just confusing. But like I say, whatever you want. Uh, when you practice, you want to practice the, the tricks. So like what they're doing is the, the dots are, are like rooms with views or doors, specific kinds of doors, so that when you visually look at it, you, it, it tells you, oh yeah, when I'm doing this uh, SR room, I got to remember to put a window into it, right? So you, that's a good trick. Is whatever you're doing, whatever the matrix is, it should graphically tell you information so you don't have to read everything a second time. You just can see it uh, and know exactly what's going on, and it, it's a tool for reminders. John Paul is asking, uh, regarding adjacencies, could rooms uh, uh, near each other be on separate floors if they are both by the stair? Uh, that's a great question. Um, so here's the funny part about the, to answer that. Uh, nobody knows. They won't tell you what the definitions of any of these rooms, uh, any of these words are. However, my feeling, no, uh, near would not be uh, on separate floors. I think near would be okay if it's on the same wing of the same floor. Um, so if you imagine, um, let's say the corridor was something that was a big L shape and I had one room that was here and another room that was there and they're both on that same wing, that seems like near to me. Uh, a, a room uh, there and over here where it's that far away, that doesn't seem so near to me. But I would absolutely, personally, even though I don't know it officially, um, I would definitely not do it on a separate floor. I think that's too... Uh, nuanced of a version of near for the computer to be looking for. Yeah, it's, a really, it's an interesting question. And it's one that you'll, you'll battle through that as you read through these things quite a bit. Uh, all right, so then what are you going to do? You're going to start jumping into the actual, uh, on the actual drawing in sketch mode. You're probably going to say, all right, I decided I'm going to do uh, uh, straight lines across for my corridor and then I can start placing in a few key guidelines like this is 20 foot maybe and so I know that all those 20 foot rooms are going to fit there and uh, this one is uh, uh, you know 30 feet uh, it doesn't look it but let's say it is uh, so I know that those bigger things are going to be able to fit uh, um, fit there uh, so you're going to you're going to start um, just with some very simple sketch mode elements, making sure that things make sense. You're gonna start drawing those in. And then once you do that, then you're gonna come back and you're gonna start placing actual rooms, uh, at least sort of nearby, to start getting a sense, all right, am I, are they in the right, do they seem like the right scale? Uh, do I have the right balance of uh, different rooms uh, from the second floor and the first floor? Um, and, uh, just kind of kind of working it out. And then once you're done with that, then you're gonna go and actually like, okay, this is the final design. I'm placing everything, the actual final dimensions. Everything's gonna go fit together. I'm gonna use the check button to make sure that everything's fitting. 
and then I'm going to start going back and, and checking things. So just as a reminder for those that haven't uh, tested any of these things out, the tools are very strange indeed, um, but they're, they're strange in a kind of handy way. So this would be an example of where somebody's placing in these uh, two rooms, and they've done that by actually going into the menu and pulling down that particular room and then making it uh, the size that they wanted to. So it's a tool that's associated with the room. It's very sort of uh, strange. And then you can toggle back and forth between the different floors. You can see it where I just see one of the floors, or I can see the floor and the site plan, or I can see the, uh, both floors and the site plan, but one of the floors will always be the active floor, and the other one will be grayed out, or not there if I chose to not see it. So here's that tool where, OK, I'm picking up, uh, in this particular case, it's Mr. Jones's office, uh, and then I can, or Actually, the one that I'm choosing here is this conference room. Uh, and it could be either a uh, rectangular shape or it can be an L shape, right? So that's what the tool is like. Um, it's, it's a very unusual way of thinking about tools. It takes a little getting used to, but you'll, you'll figure it out after you test it out a couple of times. Mm -hmm.